this is Vivan. So today we are going to learn the multiplication table of 2. What is multiplication? Multiplication is nothing but repeated addition. Please don't mark up multiplication tables. Learn the concept. So today I am going to teach you in a different way. But trust me, it will... It will help you in learning multiplication, word problems and series. So let's start. So first we are going to do two table. Now I have some pebbles here. I have written one time and two times. And I have written numbers. So first I am going to take one pebble and I am going to put it in one time. And I am going to take another pebble and put it in two times. Now how? I am going to represent in one time this pebble as 1. And I am going to represent this also as 1. So, I am, so this means that it is, we are taking the pebbles two times. One pebble two times. So, the thing is, how do we write this in math? See, we write it like this. 2 times 1 equal to we already know there are 2 pebbles here but it's 1 plus 1 equal to 2 so that's how you do it so 2 times 1 equal to 2 so now now I'm taking 2 pebbles 1 time I'm taking 2 pebbles 2 times so I am going to take these cards and I am going to represent it under one time and I am going to represent it under two times also. So now we have four pebbles. So this means you are taking two pebbles two times. Two one time, two two times. So two two times. So we write it like this. Two times two equal to. So we know there are four pebbles, but we should write it like two plus two. Two. Two plus two equal to four. So two times two equal to four. I'm taking three pebbles one time and I'm taking three pebbles two times. Now I am going to represent these cards under one time and two times also. So this means two times three. We already know there are six pebbles. You see these represent that there are three pebbles here. So the thing is how do we write it in multiplication? See we write it like Two times three equal to. We, we know there are six pebbles, but we write it like this: three plus three. Three plus three equal to six. So that means two times three equal to six. Four pebbles one time. I'll take four pebbles two times. So I'm going to take these cards and represent them in one time and two times. We know there are eight pebbles, but there are I have two fours. So this means two times four. So we write it like this: two times four equal two. So we know there are eight, there are eight pebbles, but we should write it like this: four plus four. Four plus four equal to eight. So then two times four equal to eight. So now I'm going to take some pebbles five times. One. I'm going to take five pebbles one time and five pebbles two times. So I'm going to take these cards and put it and I'm going to represent them under one time and two times. 
So these cards, they mean there are two fives. So two times five. We write this like two times five equal to. We already know there are ten pebbles, but we should write it like five plus five. Five plus five equal to ten. So two times five equal to ten. Now I'm going to take six pebbles. One time, and I'm going to take six pebbles two times. Now I'm going to take these cards and represent them on the one time and two times also. So let us come. We do not six here, six here. So six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. There are twelve pebbles. So we know these cards, right? They meant two times six. So we write it in multiplication like this: two times six equal to two times six equal to. We know there are twelve pebbles, but we should write it like this: six plus six, six plus six, six plus six. Equal to twelve. So two times six equal to twelve. Now I'm going to take seven pebbles. Now I'm going to put these cards under them to represent the counting seven one time and two times. So let us count. We know seven here, seven here. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. There are fourteen pebbles. So these cards are there, right? This means there are two times seven. So in multiplication, we write like this: two times seven equal to. We know there are fourteen pebbles, but we should not write it like that. We should write it like seven plus seven. Seven, seven plus seven equal to fourteen. So two times seven is equal to fourteen. Now I'm going to take eight pebbles. One. Now I'm going to take eight pebbles. I am going to put these cards under them to represent that I'm taking eight one time, eight two times. So. Let us count. We know eight here, eight here. So nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. So there are sixteen pebbles. You know these cards. They means two times eight. We write it like this: two times eight equal two. We know we we know that there are. Sixteen pebbles, but we should write it like like eight plus eight. Eight plus eight equal to sixteen. So two times eight equal to sixteen. Now I'm going to take nine pebbles one time and nine pebbles two times. I'm going to use these cards, and I'm going to put it under them so it represents that I'm taking nine one time, nine two times. So we know nine is here, nine is here, ten. Now we know nine is here, nine is here, right? There is a different way of doing this. We know now. You see that nine is there, right? Now. Nine plus nine. We got to do it. Not counting. I'm going to split this nine. Like one plus eight. Nine plus one plus eight. So nine plus one equal to ten. Ten plus eight equal to eighteen. So two times nine equal to. Eighteen. Now I am going to take. 
10 one time and 10 two times. I'm going to put these cards to represent that I'm taking 10 one time, 10 two times. So, we know that 10, 10 here, 10 here, right? 10 plus 10 equal to 20. See, this means 2 times 10. So, 2 times 10 equal to 20. We write it like this. 10 plus 10. 10 plus 10 equal to 20. times 1 equal to 2. See, I'm taking one table two times. See, 1 plus 1 equal to 2. See, 2 times 2 equal to 4. See, I'm going to take two pebbles two times. See, 2 plus 2 equal to 4. 2 times 3 equal to 6. I'm taking three pebbles two times. See, 3 plus 3 means I'm taking three pebbles two times. So, 3 plus 3 equal to 6. That's how I got 6 pebbles. 2 times 4 equal to 8. Means I'm taking 4 pebbles 2 times. So, see, 4 plus 4. See, there are 4 but 2 times. So, it equals to 8. That's how I got 8 pebbles. 2 times 6 equal to 12. See, I took 6 6, 2 times. So, 6 plus 6, you see, I took 6, 2 times. So, 6 plus 6 equal to 12. That's how I got 12 pebbles. 7 equal to 14. So, I took 7 pebbles, 2 times. You see, now, 7 plus 7 equal to 14, right? I took 7, 2 times. 2 times 8 equal to 16. Took 8 2 times. 8 plus 8 means, see, I took 8 pebbles 2 times. So, it equals to 16. That's how I got 16 pebbles. 2 times 9 equal to 18. See, 2 times 9 equal to 18. 9 plus 9, I just split it. 9 plus 1 plus 8, then I got 10. 9 plus 1 equal to 10. 10 plus 8 equal to 18. So, 2 times 9 means 18. 2 times 10 equal to 20. I'm just taking 10 2 times. See, 10 plus 10 equal to 20. Thanks for watching. Please practice daily. And, and I will upload part 2 tomorrow. Bye bye. Please subscribe.